Boeing had announced that they would postpone their 777X launch day, everyone was so disappointed. But today I'll be marking out exactly the new info that we've gotten on the launch date and how Boeing might be scrapping their $5 billion program. Mind blown. And I'll be covering new info on the 777X that no one has apart from me. From Talk Aviation, giving out the latest news and info on the 777X. Stay tuned. Wednesday, March 13th, 2019 was supposed to have been a banner day for Boeing. The aerospace giant was due to officially unveil the first 777X at its Everett facility in Washington. Just outside Seattle at a public event in front of staff and suppliers as well as invited guests and media flown in from around the world. The rollout ceremony represented the latest step in the 777X program that had, at January 31st, 2019, accumulated 326 orders since it was launched in 2013. Boeing ended up postponing this launch date. But why? And why was this actually so important? Well, the reason behind this is because after ET-203's 737 MAX crash, everyone was so devastated that this was the second plane crash in the first six months. Boeing actually made a statement out of this saying, We are absolutely devastated with the ET-302-737 MAX 8 crash and our team at Boeing is doing everything to make out exactly what's happened. The FAA has grounded all 737 MAX aircraft until further notice. This is exactly why the 777X launch didn't take place at the Everett Washington Place Center, which is why people want to know when the next date is. Which is why Boeing has announced that the 777X should be publicly launched in around two to three months. It does seem like a long time, but honestly, it's quite fair because they could have actually released this in more than a year. And on the Simple Flying website, it says we are definitely looking forward to its entry into service next year, but since the postponement of the 777X launch date, according to Boeing statements, the new 777X public launch date should be roughly three to four months away. You're probably thinking, I earlier said that the 777X program might actually be scrapped. Is it true? Well, from a lot of research that I have conducted thoroughly and articles that I have read, right now Boeing are balancing in the program the Boeing 797 and the Boeing 777X. But since the 777X was actually the first one they'd made, they will probably continue with this program, but Boeing aren't 90, aren't a hundred percent sure about this matter. So what are we exactly entitled to believe? Because if this is actually scrapped, a lot of airlines will be losing billions of dollars. So who are these guys who have already ordered the 777X? Airlines that have ordered the Boeing 777X at January's Boeing Expo included Cathay Pacific who have ordered 21 777-9X aircraft and Emirates have ordered 35 777-8X and 115 777-9X. Lufthansa, on the other hand, has ordered 20 777-9X and Singapore Airlines have ordered 20 777-9X as well. Meanwhile, British Airways in February signed for 18 777-9X and options for up to 24 more of the type. So, should these airlines actually cancel these orders? Because Emirates actually did threaten to cancel the 777X orders in order to actually use the Boeing 787-10. But it doesn't matter anyways because Emirates have completely omitted the 787-10 fleet. So where to now with the 777X? The reason why everybody is buying this awesome jet is not because of their basic specifications, but because this program that's been compromised is a pair of an upgrade from Boeing's in-production 777-200LR and their 777-300ER. These, the 777X series will be powered by the General Electric GE9X engines, which are completely new fuel-efficient engines. 
Flight tests for those engines will begin in March 2018, but since of uh, lots of difficulties with this, this should probably be in October. Other new features included composite wings with folding wingtips to maintain its code E rating. This aircraft will actually be the largest available passenger aircraft on the market today after Airbus's decision to shut down production of the A380 due to low orders. Coming back to the latest news of the 777X, it has just been announced that, that the new GE09X engines have officially been tested with not the 777X, no, but with the 747-8, it's the Mojave Desert. In an article of Simple Flying, it said the GE9X engine has now been seven years in the making. As General Electric initially announced the program back in 2012, in the past seven years of development, an awful lot of hard work has gone on behind the scenes. Indeed, now the GE9X has completed a mountain of testing. The air current pointed out that the GE9X engine is, in fact, of bigger than the fuselage of a Boeing 737. Anyway guys, that's it for today's video, but one more thing. What did you think of the 777X? Do you think it's a good aircraft? Do you think it should enter in the aviation industry? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel. It's just a red little button down there. You just have to click it. It's, it's not that hard. You just have to click it. For more info about the Talk Aviation News,